time for another fan appreciation free giveaway and I promise you this will be a good one. This is a Elite 27 from Multipick Services in Germany and in full disclosure they gave me this for free. They told me that uh, they'd like to have an evaluation. I told them I didn't accept gifts, that I would be giving it away after the evaluation and they were fine with that. So. In that spirit, let's take a close look at the Elite 27. This sells for, and it's a little difficult on the price, uh, it's $130 in Europe, uh, and that includes a 19% uh, VAT tax. If this were sold in the United States, uh, it would be about $109 plus local delivery. So another five bucks, around $113, maybe $115 if these were sold in the United States by Multipick Services. So keep that in mind when you look at this. If you have it shipped from Germany, it's 130 bucks plus like $25 or $30 shipping. All right. When you look at this thing, the first thing that comes to mind is you think, well, that looks very much like one of the Peterson trifold cases. And that's exactly what I thought. And if I didn't have one handy to compare, I just would have gone with that assumption. But the beauty of doing these evaluations uh, is that we can look at some of the details. So here is a Peterson trifold case. And as you can see right away, this is more like a fine wallet. Um, the leather is much finer grained. You can see it's much rougher on the Peterson. This one has a larger Velcro attachment, which that in itself is not so important, but the way that it folds over is. When you take a look at this, on the Peterson, it leaves a gap here. So when you look inside of there, you can see that's where your picks are. So conceivably, your picks could fall out. On this one, it's just not a possibility. It folds completely over and your picks are completely protected. Pretty cool case, I gotta say. There are some other differences and we'll talk about them as we uh, go through the pick set itself. When you slide it open, a nice wide leather, very thick leather. And again, when you compare it to the Peterson, uh, you have a shorter leather, very thin. So this folds down a little further. Again, it might do a little bit better job of keeping your picks secure than, than that $50 Peterson case. Uh, when you slide it open, and again, this is only in Germany, check this out. Everything's laid out more like, more like surgical instruments than, than lock picks. And when you really look at the detail, before we take a look at the picks themselves, I want you to say every one of these, some attention was to detail was given when they put this kit together. Everything is perfectly aligned. The crest is arranged on the front. They were turned or oriented to show that on every single one of these. And even better, if you look closely, I hope this comes out on the camera, they started with the part number. So part number one, two, etc. So it's one through five. And then on the back, again, I don't know if you can make it out, but it starts with five through ten. And then it flips over here. We go from part number 11 through 15. And then over here we got part number 16. So not only did they orient them correctly, but they took the time to sequence them. That's probably an inventory control thing, make sure they didn't miss anything. But I just think it's, it's kind of unique. You don't often see that level of detail. Uh, let's take a look. I, I don't need to pull all of these out because it make, these, this case makes it very easy to see what's inside of here. These are all made from stainless steel and it's some kind of proprietary. They don't reveal it. I did soak this pick in copper sulfate for 24 hours and you can see there's nothing. No, So it's definitely stainless steel. They are very durable, very tough. So I'm going to guess and say 301 hard. But again, that's just a guess. You've got to make your own uh, estimate. As I said, 23 thousandths of an inch thick. That's 0.6 millimeters thick. Um, pretty nicely shaped. Uh, when you look closely at the shafts of these, at this price point, you really don't even have to do any finishing on these. There's no sharp edges on any of these picks. I've played with almost all of them. Uh, picking with them. These are all uh, laser etched with their name. Let me get the focus going here. So we have the logo, we have the little crest on the top, and then on the bottom, just like the other uh, multi-picks, these are serial number. It tells you the year that they were made, and then each pick has a unique serial number. Now I thought this was, you know, it is the German way to serial number pretty much everything, but uh, multi-pick actually has a raffle. I, I think it was once a month, I read on their website, so it's by serial number. You can actually win something if you buy one of their kits. 
and that goes on, I guess, for the lifetime of the pigs. So what do you get? Well, you get a large diamond. You get two of these. They call these dental picks. You have a dental pick one, and I call it a deforest half ball. And then that would be a dental pick two. I call that a def deforest diamond, but again, proprietary names. Uh, you have a city rake. And then you have a series of four different rakes, and they're kind of out of order. You have a postal hook, a deep hook. You have a standard or short hook. And then the one right here would be a medium hook. You have the small half diamond, and then you have a ball. And then we'll move over here. We have a double ball or a snowman or an eight. And then we have three different S rakes or snake rakes. We have one with a little bit slower or wider frequency, what I call the normal snake rake or S rake. And then we have an angled one. So if you like to get aggressive and pull the pick out a little faster, this one might be a good choice as well. On this one, this is a kinetic tool, the W tool or the W rake. This is the one you put in and then you yank it out real fast. Now when you, you do that, most of these rakes have a cutout underneath that third hump, just like you have under hump one and hump two, and that's usually where it breaks. You'll notice that Multipick didn't cut that last one. So that's going to make this just a little bit stronger. If you like to get very, very aggressive, this might be a pick to do it with. Uh, I don't know if I pointed out these are sandwiched handles. Again, I didn't find any roughness on any of these. They were tumbled quite a bit. All the rough edges are taken off. Uh, let's take a look at some tension tools. You have the three standard tension tools. A narrow, a medium, and a wide. And these are standard L configuration. And then we jump over here. I'm going to move to the far right because we got something a little bit unusual. Uh, we have a Z wrench, not unusual. We have a standard L shape with a twist, and this is only the wide one. That's the only one of these that you get. You have a wafer lock, and oh my god, this is probably escape quality control. There's no serial number. This is unregistered. I can't believe it. Anyway, you have a wafer tension tool. You have a shutter. So if, you, if you're picking... Um, um, wafer lo or locks with shutters like door locks or some padlocks have a spring-loaded shutter you put this in and then it will push it open for you and then you can put your other tension or you can use this as a tension tool by itself so pretty cool don't lose a little o-ring to keep it on there and then we have some more tension tools now these are oddities um, they call these and again typical German has a model number uh, these are PN 41 through 45. I don't know why, but you'll notice they're different depths, and I played with these, and I'm trying to figure out exactly what they're for. They say in the advertisement, these are must-haves for the professional locksmith. So I pulled up a lock. This is one I picked recently, and I'm trying to figure out exactly what to do because it's so thin, and I'm thinking top of the keyway. But if you use it for top of the keyway, let me saw I slide that in there, it works beautifully, fits beautifully, but you notice you got that shaft kind of sticking out there in your way. So if you're trying to pick, you're going to be constantly bumping into it. I thought about maybe if they intended us to use it like this, I'm trying to do this through the camera, but if you slide that in there, now it's blocking all the pins, so it's not really useful that way. And there's really no other way to put it in there. So. Unless somebody can tell me a better way, if I were to keep these, I would probably cut these off right there and just use them as a standard L, but that would be the perfect width for some of those really small keyways to go with top of the keyway. So I'd cut it off maybe right, right about there probably, and that would be the perfect tool for that. I don't know. <laughs> I wish there was a demonstration on exactly how these are intended to be used, but uh, there isn't, unfortunately. All right, the, other, the last pick, if you can call it that, you get an extractor. Again, stainless steel, very, very sharp. This is an excellent, excellent extractor. So there you go. One more thing about this, um, this kit. You notice that on the edge of this multi-pick kit, let me pull this up here to get a really close look. This has an edging on it all the way around to include the bottom. So you get no fraying. The stitches will not be exposed. And again, I compared that to the Peterson kit, and that's raw leather. There is no edging, and these could easily come apart. As you see, it's already starting to do that. This is a brand new kit, by the way. So no edging. So that's the difference. 
I uh, have no, nothing to compare this to uh, in terms of price. I can tell you the Peterson kit, uh, just the leather case, sells for $50 on their website. This clearly is a step up in quality, so I say that just the kit alone is probably at least $50. So price it accordingly. Take that into account when you look at the value of the rest of this. Do I think it's worth $109 or call it $120 bucks if I were to buy it here in the States? When you take into account the leather, the quality leather case, and everything that you get, I would say yes. It's a high quality kit, and I'd have no reservations about spending that level of money. These, are, these picks are going to be very, very durable. You're not going to bend them. I've been using a, a smaller multi-pick kit, and I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, anyway, fellas, there you go. The Multi-Pick Elite 27. I think I'm going to have to say it gets a thumbs up. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Stay safe. Stay legal.